going on everybody it's uh july 27th 2023 thursday uh headed home now it's uh 8 30. almost dark out not quite dark yet um started at seven we had one location we had done some stuff at today uh changed the compressor reverse and valve txv and filter dryer all on one unit um then when we got done with that it was late uh, we had to go do some other calls about a 30 minute drive either way we it was a long day hot day and uh, so is the life of an HVAC guy so but all right guys let me show you this uh, um, compressor change out Take a look. all right guys we got a compressor reverse and valve and a TXV to do on this unit Someone else diagnosed it, but man, we got a lot of oil around too. We got oil here. I already took this cap off, but we got oil here. So we'll have to do a good solid leak search on this also, a good solid pressure test, make sure nothing crazy is leaking here. But all right, we're gonna start by seeing how much refrigerant it has left in it, pull it out of there and get going. It's brutally hot up on this roof today. We got our vacuum still going. It's hot up here, so it's taking a while. I put about 13 pounds in that one. I got a co-worker here. He let me use his sub cooler. So we got a sub cooler and ice. We are getting, um, got almost five pounds, four pounds. Out. This thing was overcharged apparently because I took 13 out. I've already got five out and it holds for 15 and a half. So we're way overcharged. But look at this oil. This, this filter isn't even big enough and then check out down here all that's clogged up and we got some work ahead of us no wonder why this compressor burnt up looks like we're almost out of liquid so got a little bit of more liquid dancing around in there we're getting there seven pounds plus 13 not overcharged by our company this was overcharged by a maintenance crew that worked on this unit I'm just telling you like it is guys I'm just showing you what I find we're getting down though oh, I'm almost down to nothing now but uh 13 plus we are uh, about 18 pounds that we were overcharged. That is absolutely ridiculous. Oh, I'm sorry, not 18. Uh, 13. 13 pounds overcharged. That is ridiculous. All right, guys, I'm starting on sweat stuff now. I already got the discharge off the compressor taken out, but I got to take the reverse and valve to the filter dryer that's back there, and I already removed the TXV and I taped it over so I don't get any crap in it. Flowing nitrogen while we're brazing. Um, so I'm going to take the discharge, the compressor discharge off of the reversing valve now, because it just makes more sense that way. Then this whole tube will actually be loose. And then I will unsweat the suction off the compressor. Then this will be loose. So I'm trying to do this the smart way so I'm not fighting that reversing valve because reversing valves can be a kind of a bum to get out. So 
we're, we're trying to work smarter, not harder here. So this is where the TXV external equalization tube was. I already got that, got that right out of the way because that was right in the way. So we're gonna keep on on sweating stuff and, uh, and taking it off one by one. All right, we got the compressor out. We have this, uh, the suction of the reversing valve out, the discharge of the reversing valve out. So we still have these two. I think this one here is gonna be the, the most difficult one because this one I could actually unsweat right there if I wanted to. I'm gonna try to avoid doing that, but I might have to because getting it out is only half the battle. You gotta get the new one back in. So with it out though, I'm gonna have to replace that filter dryer because it's almost, with the compressor out, I'll have to do the filter dryer because it's pretty tough to get in there with the compressor still in. So I might do that next. Yeah guys, we gotta make sure we take lots of breaks today. It's hot up there, we're drinking a ton of water. There's a mezzanine, a little walkway here at, that's air conditioned that we've been taking breaks in. So that's pretty good. Take a lot of breaks, drink a lot of water when it's hot. All right guys, I got my new filter dryer in. Um, I cut it here, swedged it. New filter dryer is way bigger than the old one, which is to be expected. Um, now I'm gonna finish on getting the reversing, the rest of the reversing valve out. Do that next. All right, I did have to unsweat it from here to be able to get it out here. So I got one more left that I'm about to do, and that's what where all this is at. So that shouldn't be that bad. I should be able to unsweat that, and the whole valve will drop down. That should be the easiest one yet, honestly. Should be. We'll see. All right, <laughs> finally got it out of there. So I think my next step, I'm gonna put the TXV on. It's just the bolt on, so that's good, except the exter external equalization tube. Put that on. Um, we're gonna set the compressor in place. We're going to, and then we're gonna start brazing stuff back in. All right, I'm starting to put stuff back now. Not sure why stuff's coming up crooked, but we'll figure that out as we go. But we're gonna get this brazed in here in a few minutes. And, um, and yeah, just keep brazing. We got a ton of brazing to do. All right, guys, we just got back from lunch. I noticed that I actually had these two pipes switched. I'm glad I caught it in time. But I, was, I was noticing, I was like, why the hell is this pipe so crooked? I got looking at it. Well, you dummy, you put it in the wrong orientation. All right, so we got these hooked up. We're going to start brazing on stuff. Um, and yeah, we're going to braze them one at a time and get this knocked out. It hasn't got any cooler up here. I'll, I know that much. We're gonna put, we're gonna hook the thermometer up. It's 103 in the shade. We're gonna find out how hot it is up here. Huh? It's actually going down. We got a breeze here. So on this side, it's 102. But over here with no breeze, it's going up. That's yeah, roughly 102 up here. All right, we're about to take this uh, thermo trap by New Calgon and we're gonna put it all around the reversing valve to protect the innards of that reversing valve. We don't wanna tear nothing up. We don't wanna overheat it, so this stuff's perfect for that. All right, I got my three suction lines brazed in. And I'm about to, I think, braze in my compressor suction next. And then I have that suction up there to, to braze this guy right here. All right, got everything brazed in. I'm starting my pressure test. Got to get my uh, thermo trap off here. It's reusable. You can put it right back in the container and uh, see if we have any leaks. All right, I'm almost out of nitrogen. So I got about 130 PSI in there and she's been holding for, well, we've been to the truck and back, so. It's been holding for at least 10 minutes. I'm about to blow that off. We're gonna pull a vacuum on this thing. All right, guys, we're on a vacuum now. Where are we down to? 760? 
I'm gonna let her pull for a while. She's got uh, some odds and ends to tighten up, but we're in good shape. We're in real good shape. I still gotta fasten the TXV bulb. I'm gonna fasten that right here. Other than that, we're good, man. Yes, sir. Other than it being hot, it's pro it's went pretty good. Better than uh, than usual, I'd say. So knock wood. Hopefully everything starts up right and runs right. All right, we are trying to clean up this coil a little bit before we get it started. The maintenance department said they were going to clean it when the technician diagnosed it. Um, we come back to the compressor, it's still not clean, so we're going to at least get the dirt off of it so it can breathe and I can get a proper superheat and subcooling readings. Yeah. I don't know if I'm going to put any chemical on it, but we'll at least get uh, the, the bulk off. Guys, we have gotten our butts kicked today out here. Oh. It's been really hot, so we're on vacuum now. We should be, we should be done soon. So, and it's like a 10 minute walk to our trucks. So <laughs> the only good thing about that is that in the corridor here, um, it's air conditioned. So when we're walking to our trucks, at least we got some air conditioning. But go right back up here. Back to over 100 degrees. Ah. Sorry, I can get her done. Yeah, guys, I got the uh, TXV bulb mounted. I like using hose clamps on it. You know, hose it nice and tight. You don't have to fumble around with any kinds of clips or anything. Works pretty good. So I'm going to put some Armaflex around this now. I wish I had some foam core tape, but I don't. So, it is what it is. Well, it took about 12.5. With it out it running, it holds 15.8. I might put about 15.10 in it because I have a bigger filter dryer now. Bigger filter dryer might hold another ounce or so of refrigerant. So we're about to turn this baby on and see what happens. All right, we just came back on. I got worried for a second because my suction pressure dropped like a freaking stone, but it's coming back up now. We are 87 degrees in the space, so we're gonna be, and it's like I said, uh, probably a little over 100 out here. Well, 95 in the shade. Yeah, it's 95 in the shade, so that's not too bad. We'll find out what it is in the sun. We're still about three and a half pounds short of charge. We're gonna put that in right now. All right, we went about two ounces over. I really didn't mean to do that, but I did want to go about an ounce or so over with the new, a lot bigger filter dryer. Here's where we're at right now. We're gonna let it run for a little bit. Try to get that so you can see it. Tough to get it so you guys can see it. 144 suction, 382 head, 21 degrees of superheat, just about 12 degrees of subcooling. This is a little tough because I am right on my hot gas discharge. That's the only uh, valve core I have to test on. So we're going to be a little bit off there because I'm testing my liquid temperature from there. So it's gonna be a little bit higher here, but not, not a big deal. We'll still get it pretty close. Like I said, we only been running for a few minutes now, so, and I've just got the full charge in it. We'll hook up some probes and see what our temperature and all is. We have been blessed today with a little bit of a breeze. If this breeze wasn't going, we would be even more miserable than we are, but it's right about 100 in the shade or in the sun right now. 
All right, guys, I think this is about as good as it gets with as warm as my space temp is. So these are my final readings. We got another technician that'll be here a couple more days. He can just follow up on it, see, make sure everything comes into, comes down the way it's supposed to, but I like it. 12 degrees subcooling, 20 degrees superheat, 389 head, 150 suction, 72 degrees uh, suction line temperature. What's gonna be? Yeah, guys, so apparently we were going behind a maintenance guy who has since lost his job um, because anytime he's seen an issue with a unit, he started dumping refrigerant in it. And in this unit, it had twice the amount of charge it it called for. Called for 15 pounds, um, and it had it had twice that in it. I mean, I, I forget what the number is now, but it had twice that in. This thing almost had 30 pounds of refrigerant in it. I mean, how the hell did he get it, even get it all in there? Is what I want to know. <laughs> but um, between that and uh, the clogged up. Um, the clogged up coil and filter is, you know, that, that compressor didn't stand a chance. And the overcharge probably tore up the reversing valve also. We did the TXV just as um, a, um, a precaution, you know, might as well go ahead and put a TXV in it too. So uh, after we had everything apart, so that's what we did there. But um, but but yeah, I, I, was, I was flabbergasted how much that was overcharged. That's crazy. But uh, we got it all taken out of there, and uh, the thing's running like a top now, so that's good. But all right, guys, that's going to be it for this one. Uh, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Any newcomers, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.